to discuss the outlook for the company, we have Baba Kalyani, Chairman and Managing Director of Bharat Forge, with us on the line now. Thanks very much, Mr. Kalyani, for joining in. Uh, so you've done about 21% growth in revenue in the year that closed out, and we were reading some of the commentary as well, and you indicated that it'll be a good year, uh, most businesses will do well, and even the exports business, which has been the pain point of FY23, you're saying it'll revive. Can you give some more color what uh, segments specifically will drive growth for, uh, for Bharat Forge in FY24? And can you better the 20-odd percent that you did in the last year? Yeah, well, thanks for having us uh, on your call. <coughs> First of all, uh, you know, we now have uh, almost five business segments that we have uh, made in our company. Our main business segment, which is automotive components, uh, uh, which is Indian operations, is doing extremely well and will continue to do well. Uh, our defense business has uh, picked up hugely, and uh, we see a huge growth uh, in FY24 in that business. Uh, then we have our industrial business, where we have acquired some uh, new capacities in castings in the south. That is uh, growing at a very fast pace and is uh, uh, EPS accretive <coughs> right now. And our uh, overseas business, which has been a drag uh, on the last quarter, I think uh, will turn around. And we should see in FY24 our consolidated EBITDA margins to be somewhere in the region of 17, 18, 19 percent, something like that. So I think we are, we are looking at a very strong year going forward. We look at high double-digit growth in our business, and we look at almost all our businesses uh, uh, moving towards profitability. Uh, right, Mr. Kalyani, uh, good afternoon. You were saying margins, F524, on a consolidated bit, uh, uh, consolidated base, basis between 17 to 19 percent, somewhere there, right? Yes, almost and 500 basis points above what you saw in Q4. Okay. And uh, and and uh, on the top line, uh, could I mean, would you want to put out a similar range? A high top double digit. Will, uh, yeah, yeah, top line also will grow in uh, uh, high double digits, maybe closer to twenty odd percent, or maybe okay. more, maybe a little more, maybe a little lucky. So twenty percent top line growth and a five hundred basis points improvement in margin. Uh, sir, your long-term debt has gone up uh, on a year-on-year -year basis. You're ending the year with a debt of nearly 2,500 crore rupees, and your debt to EBITDA has also crossed the one mark, 1.01. Uh, do you expect debt to increase further? And what's the debt-to-equity ratio that you're comfortable with? No, no, first of all, our debt hasn't gone up. We have more than 3,200 crore cash on our balance sheet right now. Okay. So, uh, we are pretty comfortable uh, with that. Okay, all right. Uh, hi, Mr. Kalyani. And, yeah, go ahead, sir. Yeah. And we don't have a large capex plan uh, for this year for FI24. So we are quite okay, and I think we will generate a lot of free cash flow this year, too. And the debt will come down. In the next two years, uh, a large part of our debt will disappear. Mm, interesting. Uh, hi, Mr. Kalyani. Always good speaking to you, sir. This is Nigel on this side. You know, besides your own business, yeah. the street likes to hear from you as well. Not only with regard to uh, Bharat Forge, but if you're sitting on some cash and you believe that you're fairly comfortable, how interested are you in BEML? Now, uh, you know, the, <laughs> the, the, the land assets, you know, Mr. Kalyani, I need to ask you this. Because, well, you know, you know the, the, just, like, this... just like you analyze my balance sheet and my numbers, uh, please do the same. There and give me your opinion. No, but I'm not going to be the one that's bidding, Mr. Kalyani. So I want to know if there is any movement. Because in the past, I think you all have hinted, yes, we are interested. That yes, land we assets... Have, we, have, we have been interested. Uh, we are still uh, talking to uh, the bankers. But, you know, there are a lot of, uh, lot of issues that need to get resolved before uh, we can take serious interest in that. And but a but couple this, of things... At this point in time... Yeah. Uh, you know, there are multiple opportunities for us to grow. Okay. We are looking at growth. We want to grow our business at a very fast pace. Right. And, but the, uh, we, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so, so, sir, uh, so you're interested in the asset, but there are a couple of things that need to get cleared out. Now, one of the things was the land assets. That's moved out. What else uh, exactly. are, you all, are, are you all waiting for? I mean, the assets become a little bit cleaner than what it was. But is there you a see, debate on are, the valuations? 
No, I, I mean, valuation is one problem. Manpower is another problem. Okay. Uh, there are multiple product lines, some of which we have no interest in. The third problem. So, uh, multiple issues uh, involved. We say that, uh, you know, the intensity of in interest is waning because obviously it's dif difficult for you to remain interested at that same level unless issues get resolved, exactly. right? Because exactly, 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 exactly. So, Mr. Kalyani, if not BEML, I, I, this is hypothetical, obviously, but uh, you mentioned you have a fair amount of cash on the books. Uh, the business is going to throw up more cash this year. Then if not BEML, something else? Have you identified See, other just, potential uh, candidates? Just, in, in last year, we just acquired three casting companies in the South. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are growing them. And, you know, you will see the numbers as they come out. Uh, we will see a very, very high growth in that business. So our industrial business is going to start growing. And that's another area for us to diversify from automotive going into industrial products. And just a quick uh, final question, in terms of uh, you know diversification away from automotive, as a percentage of your revenue, uh, how much do you see defense contributing in FY24 and uh, say, let's say next year as well, FY25? FY24, defense will contribute 10% of okay. revenue, you know, it, in FI 23, it was hardly uh, some 2% or 3%. So it's increasing to 10%. And I think if you go forward FI 26, it will be more than 20%. But our okay. revenues will also grow uh, quite substantially by that time. Uh, Mr. Kalanani, you've given us a lot to uh, chew upon. Thank you very much for joining in. That is Bharat <coughs> Forge uh, guiding for defense contribution to pick up significantly. Currently, it contributes in low single digits, will improve to 10% in FI24 and further to 20% plus 20, 25% by FI26. Confident about margins improving uh, by 500 basis points to 17, 18% on a consolidated basis, a top line growth of 20%. BEML, not very sure. There are concerns on manpower, valuations, parts of the business that they're not very interested in. But they've just completed three acquisitions. Uh, their focus continues to remain fo squarely on growth. Let's see whether they snap anything else up uh, this year. So that's Bharat Forge for you. The stock is a bit subdued in trade, down 1%, because margins, uh, this time at least, have come in lower than street expectations. But uh, let's um, you know get into a break on that note. On the other side, we'll be joined by Sri Ram. Vela Yudhan of IFL Securities to discuss the MSCI announcement on the HDFC twins and what it means for the stock from here on.